Hello everypony, this is Cliff. Um, got home recently, just kind of want to show off some of the stuff that I got. Also wanted to give a shout out to um, all the bronies that were there. You were all amazing and I love all of you. Um, there's actually a good chance that I'm going to be in the brony documentary, which is just, just astonishing to me. Um, I mean, I'm not sure that I'm not sure they'll keep my segment in because I don't think I'm terribly interesting, but I, I felt honored just to be like part of the process for it. So if you don't mind, I'm going to show off some of the swag I got, which I think is amazing. So basically got the average pony cards right here. Um, got a whole case. So one of the things that I'm actually going to be doing um, is for the people who were not able to go to BronyCon, um, I am going to be giving away a few of these packs, so you can kind of get a little bit of estimate of what's in them. I mean, these cards are actually well done. This is actually cool right here. Um, some fan, dressed as Derpy Hooves, gave out little letters, so I thought that was, that was cute, basically. A muffin falls in the kitchen and no pony is around to see it does it get eaten which is just awesome but these are what the cards basically look like of course you will not be getting this one because it's flutter shy and basically she's my waifu so i will be keeping that card because she is best pony um but it does go into all of the minor characters too and a lot of um locations standees stuff like that um, the cool thing about this, though, what well, kind of a dorky thing for me is, like, this right here is the day spa. Because I want to take you to a day spa. I want to take you to a day spa, day spa. Um, when I first um, saw this one, I got excited because there's let's see, there's a little code on the back. I'm going to enter it right before I post this because um, I'm pretty certain that somebody would gank the code and see if they won before me, if not, because I'd probably forget to do it. But basically, this has a sweepstakes on it. Basically, you enter your code online and see if it's a winner. You can get um, autographed cards, or a 500 trading card set, yada yada yada. And I found this, I'm like, wow, I am, I am the luckiest brownie in the world. But apparently, from what I've heard, one of these comes in every single pack, so the likelihood of you having the winning card is slim. I got spike, Sparkly Twilight, I got a Luna Tattoo, and these are just two packs, so there's plenty of different cards out there. A Best Wedding Ever, Winona, Rarity, Cutie Mark Tattoo, Applejack, Canterlot, another Canterlot, um, another location card with another code on it, which kind of gave away that those aren't quite as unique as I thought they were when I first opened my pack and squeed over it. And, of course, the Ursa Minor and the exclusive Shiny Rarity Pick card, which was given away at BronyCon. So yeah, I will definitely be giving some of those away, which is awesome. But let's get to the let's get to the crux of the biscuit, the stuff that I'm really proud to have. And of course you can kind of tell who my favorite pony is immediately when you see some of the stuff. So let me pop this back lid open. This is the Friendship Express, and for anyone who has not seen this DVD, it is uncensored. It has the Derpy episode. But completely signed. I love this. This was so amazing. And Peter New is an awesome guy, by the way. I I kind of um I kind of just got shocked that he recognized me. Um Lauren Faust signed it, which is amazing. And Best Pony signed it. And so that is just astonishing. I, um, I mean, this is my, that's probably one of my favorite pieces that I got from BronyCon. Of course, I got a bunch of other autographs, too. I got Tara Strong photo, which is amazing. I got another Best Pony Andrea Lehman autograph, which is amazing as well. Pony fan art, it's Pinkie Pie. Well, obviously, you know that. And Lee... Lee is actually hilarious in person. Very, very hyperactive. Um, 
when I met him, he asked if I should sign, if he could sign over the barcode, and basically asked him that too in case I ever needed to return it to the store as a joke. Um, so that that was a crowning moment because I made Peter New laugh with that, and I got a gift for my friend, which is another Lauren Foss autograph. But the big thing right here. That's my Fluttershy picture. Probably not as interesting to you as it is to me, so let's go on to the really big thing I was trying to talk to. This is BronyCon poster. I have it signed by Lauren Falls, John Delancey, and at the bottom, I have it signed by Purple Tinker, which is awesome. Now let me just set this down for a split second. What you're seeing on the camera right now is an advertisement for the um, Brony collection of um, nail gloss, um, finger nail gloss. And I actually checked some of that out. Um, I didn't purchase any because I'm not a big nail gloss user or nail finish or fingernail polish, what, whatever it's called. But here we go. This is beautiful. Um, this is going to be framed. Want to parte? That is, that's one of my favorite pieces right there. Um, I'd say probably my my three favorite pieces would be that poster that I kind of threw over there. Um, obviously my DVD, because I mean, two of my favorite people, Andrea Lidman and Peter, both signed it. And I also have a flutter that was signed. I mean, you can obviously tell who my favorite pony is. But, guys, next time that there is a brony kind, you really have to go. It was, it was astonishing. I mean, there was so much love, and I think everyone felt that they could be themselves. They could just let loose and be themselves. So I want all of you... um. If you were at BronyCon, send me a little message. Um, I know there was there was this really nice guy at BronyCon who actually noticed me, who recognized me and got a photo with me, and I hope I can get in touch with him because I would love to send him a gift. Um, prizes, contests are starting again, so don't worry about that. The first one will be for the cards. I'm going to try to do that exclusively for people who did not go to BronyCon, because they were BronyCon exclusive, and people who had the chance to get them most definitely did. Um, I just want to do something for for my bronies, my bronies who weren't able to make it. So um, love, I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for making my life a better a much better experience. Um, thank you so much for just being part of this awesome community. I love you all. Bro hoof.